His scam began with this, a novelty golf ball finder. In reality, just an aerial on a hinge which couldn't find anything. Jim McCormick bought hundreds of them from the US for $20 each. He then put his own labels on them and sold them as bomb detectors for as much as $5,000 a time. He then created a more advanced looking version, which he called the ADE 651. This time it came with special cards, supposedly programmed to detect everything from explosives to ivory, human beings, or even $100 bills. And he sold this version for as much as $55,000 each. Iraq alone spent $85 million buying thousands of them for use at checkpoints from Baghdad to Basra as protection from suicide bombs. We've been told that bribes to senior Iraqi officials helped Jim McCormick sweeten the deal for the bogus devices.